it's just his passion for the wines and what he did in the vineyard was well was, i mean you know <laughs> so we're gonna, those are going to come out now this okay so here here's one of the things i noticed at trincaro which you know is the original setter home right you know bob trincaro blah blah and he's got all these brands one of the brands he has is a bourbon called oh, amador i had no idea okay he buys kentucky bourbon and he ages it in wine barrels Oh my God! It's like, and then you got the the wine guys who age their wine in bourbon barrels. That's why I brought it up. Oh, that's right. This is total B or whatever it's called. Triple yeah, B. triple B. Yeah. <laughs> so, but the first time I had this, this is the reason I featured because this it's it's coming of age to a certain Ooh, extent. This smells pretty good. Um, I went to a wine tasting down in Orange County, and it was a Paso Robles winery, uh, mm. Sky Sky Hammer Sky, and so he had done this, and I and then right afterwards. Uh, the Aussie Wine Company brought this in. Well, you know, it's interesting because, yeah, look, as far as I'm concerned, it's a gimmick. Come on, give me a break. All right. But the fact is, you know, you don't really it. taste bourbon, that that bourbon-like component, which you would in, in, in a wine that's been aged at length in brand new American oak, not, not French oak. Um, this tastes actually less, um, you know, American oaky than most of the other ones. It's Well, you're going to get... The nuances rather than because this is exactly. this is what we i guess the bourbon guys would consider this neutral barrels for them mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. because they got to be toasted they're not as oh, toasted of course they're scotch. toasted no they're toasted but the fact is you don't forget you age wine in a barrel for a year maybe two years at the most you age bourbon for three to four to five years you know so the wood is going to actually absorb some of that bourbon there's no question about that that's right okay so th so this is I know it's three months in barrel. I don't know if the whole thing is three months. It says uh, the next level, a portion, a portion of the wine was aged three months. So there were some rules, though, that this, the, the TTB, uh, the feds, when we made this brand, a triple B, aged in bourbon barrels for three, it had to say exactly that. I couldn't put aged in bourbon barrels. I couldn't put three months in bourbon. It had to be this text. <laughs> I don't know why. Because someone's got to earn their money to tell you what to do on a label, and to protect but the, to protect the consumer. The I don't get it. No, I don't get it. But so this, what you get in the nose is not just oak barrels. You get this bourbon sort of vanilla character. Well, you do get the vanilla. I do get the vanilla out of there, but it's not overpowering, and it's not. Oh, I got some aged bourbon barrels. No, of course not. You wouldn't get that. But no. it's delicious wine. It, for sixteen ninety nine, it's a great buy. For seventy ninety nine, seven ninety nine, it's, it's a, a great 90, thing. You look like a hero to your friends. Like, what is this stuff? What are you true? What are you? The bourbon barrel? Hey, what's going on? Ninety. And by the way, the bourbon in the wine barrel is not so good. <laughs> I mean, I really didn't care for it. That's funny. <laughs> uh, you can keep the bourbon. We'll take the barrels. <laughs> That's right. 